This is the only thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? faith, faith. And here's the question. Having begun by the Spirit, are you now perfected by the flesh? That's the question. Here you have legalism stated in an interrogative. He says, how did you get saved? Did you get saved by keeping the Ten Commandments? Did you get saved by being better than your next door neighbor? Did you get saved by trying and trying and trying and trying and trying? Because if you did get saved that way, you aren't saved. Nobody is saved by works of righteousness. Nobody is saved by keeping the Ten Commandments. Nobody is saved by being a good fellow or a good lady. You're saved by grace. You're saved apart from human effort. Now, his question is simply this. What makes you think that you can get saved by grace, which sets you free, apart from the works of the law and be free by works. Or to put it another way, what makes you think, oh foolish Christians, that the Spirit is good enough to get you started but not good enough to keep you going? What makes you think, oh Christians, that Christ set you free by the Spirit but you must revert back to the law to stay free, stay spiritual, and be victorious? You're going backwards. What then is legalism? Legalism bases identity and spiritual living on one's performance. It makes keeping rules the basis of spiritual victory. It says, you are what you do. Now I'm going to go into this in a moment. But legalism is not the presence of rules or the presence of laws. That's not legalism. You couldn't function if you didn't have rules, guidelines, laws. Legalism is the wrong attitude toward rules. It gives rules a power that rules don't have. It gives rules an authority that God never meant them to have. Any of you who witness about your Christian faith has run into the sinner who believes if he tries hard enough, he'll make it to God's head. And you've got to spend time convincing him that keeping the rules does not qualify you to get to heaven. What is true of a sinner going to heaven is true of a saint who's trying to be victorious. Having a list of rules that you follow is not the way that you find liberty and victory in the Christian life. Legalism is motivated by guilt. It is because I feel bad that people can put pressure on me to follow a list of rules or I can put pressure on myself. It is a guilt-motivated system. And the more guilty we feel, the more promises we make. When I really feel guilty, I promise I'm not going to do that anymore. If the preacher preaches a sermon that really makes me feel guilty and then says, come forward, I gotta walk the aisle. Again and 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 again. Because I have been made to feel guilty by the truth of the law. Because it's not that I haven't done something wrong, it's not that I don't fall short, it is that I'm expecting a commitment to keep rules as the way to release me from the guilt that I feel. Christians are forever raising questions about rules. Can I do this? Can I do that? What about movies? What about dancing? What about, you know, television? What about this? What about that? Rule, 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 rule. List, 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 list. And when your list gets long enough, you become a frustrated Christian. Because you say, I can't keep all these rules. I can't even remember them. You 
can see the legalistic Christian. They hear a sermon that you need to spend time in the Word every day. They set their alarm clock to get up early. They set their alarm clock and they get up early. When the alarm goes off, they're mad. But they feel this weight from the sermon that was placed on them the day before. I've got to get up. I've got to spend time in the Bible. I have got to pray. You always know a legalist because a legalist uses either the word or the concept I ought to more than they say I want to. Grace-based Christians do because they want to. Law-based Christians do because they ought to. Law-based Christians do it and hate it. Grace-based Christians do it and love it. Law-based Christians feel this weight when it comes to living for God. Grace-based Christians feel this joy when it comes to living for God. Because one is a legalist. That is, they have a wrong attitude toward the law. They have an attitude based on rules, not on relationship. Suppose if you're married, you and your wife had a checklist to measure the state of your marriage that you carried around with you all day. The checklist says, I'm responsible to wash. Wash today, check. I'm responsible to cook. Cook today, check. I'm responsible to clean. Clean today, check. So the husband carries a checklist. She washed, she cleaned, she cooked, she's acceptable. Then the wife has her own checklist. A real long one. He's supposed to mow the lawn, check. He's supposed to clean the garage, check. He's supposed to check, 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 check. Whenever your marriage relationship is reduced to a checklist, then you're a legalist. Whenever you measure your Christian life by a list, you missed it. Not because the things on the list are bad, it's just that the having a list doesn't solve your problem. It is a faulty approach to the Christian life and therefore a faulty approach to victory. I always get a little concerned when I hear X number of steps to do anything. Not because the steps are bad, don't get me wrong. Not because they aren't valid, but because it gives the impression if you keep this set of rules, you will be free. That is a faulty approach to life. That is a legalistic approach to life. The Christian life isn't 10 steps to anything. So I wanna set you free right now, tear up your list. I mean, tear them all up. Now that's going to be difficult for folks because some of us have been trained to function by list. And if you're functioning by list, then you have come to discover that your list have not solved your problems. They just keep growing and growing and growing because it's legalism.